Hey everybody, this is Carlos from Coral View, here again Hi. at Magna 2017 in New Orleans, and I'm here with George Kofin. Hey, from nice Easy Reeves. And uh, tell us, how, do, how are you liking the show so far? Oh, it's amazing. It's really one of the best Magnus I've been in. Really? really? Yes. So many nice products here, nice people, and the atmosphere is amazing. How really do you like great. New Orleans? Is this your first time in New Orleans? Yeah, first time in New Orleans. Great people. How really, do you like really. the food? Oh, the food is amazing. I know, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's, so, it's so fresh, you know, all the seafood stuff. Yes. I love seafood, you know, we this are all marine having... guys. Yes. yes, so we love seafood. <laughs> so it's really the right place to go. Absolutely. All right. All right, so tell us about the company. How did Easy yeah. Reef start? Uh, so Easy Reef started about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we started pretty much with the Mastic and the Easy Booster. So those were the first products we launched. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and so the, 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 the core business of our company is really the phytoplankton. This is where we are coming from. So you started okay. as, a, as, a, as a phytoplankton, as a plankton or phytoplankton yes. company? Yeah. This is uh, our core business is phytoplankton. We produce all uh, uh, phytoplankton on a large scale, a very now, large scale. Do you s is it just for marine or is it for like no, uh, no. For labs? For cosmetics, for, for everything. Do, yeah. They really use that stuff? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, what is it? What are you a big like branch in Canada where mm -hmm. we sell uh, uh, cosmetics for, uh, right through the for, uh, pharmacies, to all the pharmacies, chain stores. Wow. And we also produce phytoplankton for human consumption. We are wow. the only company in the world that has the uh, uh, registration for producing phytoplankton for human consumption. So you guys know what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the first step really was research. So okay. we spent it years uh, in research just to find out. Uh, we have uh, uh, in our lab, um, we have studied all different types of species of phytoplankton and we have analyzed uh, 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 their nutrition values because there are differences in the nutrition mm -hmm. value. So, and we wanted to find out what phytoplankton species uh, is, is giving us the best results for what we need. Yeah? So we have data of thousands of different phytoplankton strains uh, regarding their nutrition uh, 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 content. Yeah? So, and whenever we are looking for something specific, we know exactly what strain to use. Yeah, so it's it's really it's a big like a big archive you say. Yes, yeah? yes, of course. Of all these things, yeah. We also have a big archive of cyanobacteria, for example, because wow. we can also use it for certain things, not for our products, but for other. For for the first, I I, I brought a special display here mm -hmm. to show the people the differences in phytoplankton, because usually when 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 you talk with people about phytoplankton, the mm -hmm. first thing is ah oh, the green stuff. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, yeah, it's like I think it's just a whole bunch of little plants there growing. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. But you think of the green thing, and uh, when you look on on what, what we have what we have here, you see there are a, a, a lot of differences in phytoplankton. So green really means we are talking about nanochloropsis. Yeah, nanochloropsis is the phytoplankton which is really uh, turning most of the plants into green color. Yeah, because okay. this is the green one. Then if you look on the other species, like the isochrysis, for example, the tetraselmis or the theodactium, they are more yellow, brownish, and whatever. So the first cylinder shows our blend, which is inside the Easy Booster. You see, it's not green. No. Yeah, it's kind of brownish because we are not using too much nanochloropsis. Uh, the advantage of nanochloropsis is it's very easy to breed. It's the yes. toughest one of all the phytoplankton species. Yeah? So if you have a culture, it will take over the whole culture in, in, in very fast, yeah? okay. because it's really tough one. And this is why most people like to work with the nanochloropsis. Now, from the nutrition point of view, we talked about it. Mm -hmm. you know, our analyze showed that it's not really the best one to use. Yeah? Okay. Uh, and there are several things which are good, but it's really not the optimum that you can get. So there are other species like the Pheodactylum or the Isochrysis, they offer a lot more value yeah, from the nutrition point of view, but they are a lot more complicated to breed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So they are very sensible on all certain types of parameters and you have to be really clean when breeding them because as I said, you know, other species will take over right away. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So and this is what I wanted to show them, the differences. So whenever you see phytoplankton in in a bottle which is turns kind of green, keep, keep in mind it's mainly nanochloropsis what you're buying there. Yeah? So try to watch out for, 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 some, for a blend which is more like ours here for example because then you know you have the more, uh, let's say, more nutritional stuff. You have a more round, a well-rounded... Absolutely. Because uh, what you said, what I understand is 
the green one, there is some benefits to Absolutely, it. Absolutely. But yeah. and why not just mix them all and get the best of everything? Yeah, exactly. Because what we want to do is we want to feed the diversity. Yeah. So uh, we have to use different sizes of phytoplankton. Yeah? So we are working here with phytoplankton from 2 micron up to 12 micron. So okay. we cover the whole range of okay. sizes. Yeah? So sizes is one thing. Uh, 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 the thickness of the membrane is another thing. Okay. Yeah? So there, there are ma ma many different parameters yeah, that we want to cover because every species of zooplankton has dedicated needs. Yeah? And therefore, you have to make sure that you are offering a, a variety of products. Yeah? But, and this is what we do with the Easy Booster. And you brought up a good point. This, you said that the size of the phytoplankton goes from 2 microns to, you said, 12 yeah. microns? 12, Around 12 yeah. microns. Yeah. So yeah. for those people that are, you know, the filter socks, the 200 microns, the 50 microns, they no problem. No problem. <laughs> you know, so you don't have to remove your filter sock. No, you don't have to remove no. your fleas no. it, when you're feeding phytoplankton because yeah. It, well, then they will go right, goes through, right through it. Right through it. Right through no it. Problem. That doesn't, okay, yeah. that's, that's great. So, what makes Easy Reef or Easy Booster yeah. different than everything else? Okay, so we talked about what's inside already. Mm -hmm. So, But I think another big difference to other uh, 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 phytoplankton mixes you find is the outside, mm -hmm. it's the packing. Yeah, because we are using a packing which is protecting the content from UV. Okay. Because light, is an enemy of nutrition. Yes. So this is why we have chosen this sort of packing. Of course, you don't see the, the, the nice product inside, yeah? but we, for, from our point of view, it's more important to protect the product against everything what's outside. Yeah. So this is why we are using this sort of packaging. Another thing is we are using bags because we want the people to be able to attach it to dosing systems. Yeah. And this is what you can do with the bag is you can just throw it, it out, out and the bag will <laughs> fall down when it touches to a dosing pump. So you see this is the bag and it's still uh, protecting against all sort of light. So what you have here, uh, another thing is when you attach it to a dosing system, um, the bag starts to fall down. So we are not exposing it to oxygen. Mm -hmm. yeah? So you're creating a, a suck, a, 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 it's a vacuum yeah. and as you squeeze it, it yeah. goes out. But there's actually no air No air going coming in, in. yeah. All and right. this means we are not exposing it to oxygen. So we are, again, we are protecting the product because oxygen is again a big enemy of all nutrition. Mm -hmm. Another aspect is our product does not require any shaking before dosing. And why is that? This is because of the high viscosity we have. So this is a phytoplankton gel. So it's a very thick oh, okay. gel. Okay. Yeah? Very similar to what you what you don't put in your hair, but what I use on my hair. <laughs> oh, ouch, that was below the bell. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, so it's a very thick gel. Yeah? Okay. So it does not require any shaking. And you don't have to be worried about how it lays down if it's like this. The density of the cells is always the same. So yeah? what you did is it's just a super concentrated, almost like a paste. Absolutely. A paste of phytoplankton, yeah. which is this. Just can yeah. reduce down low moisture, just super concentrated until it's it's gel. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. This and was our target, you know, to, to make it as concentrated as much as we can. We then have also in the packing here, you see there's a sort of a hanger mm -hmm. so the people can hang it on the wall. So technically you don't even have to, see, technically you don't even have to take it off the package. You can just open it up, yes, put it and connect it to your dozer. Yeah, yeah. You but you do recommend, but because it's a paste, I understand that it doesn't really drip. You actually have to it, to it a might doser. drop at the beginning because of the gravity. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then, then it will change. Yeah, so, so, so you will change the dosing and stuff like that. So we really recommend to use a dosing device for, for it because let's say if you just work with gravity, it might work at the beginning. But mm -hmm. as more as you empty the packaging, the dosing rate will change. Okay, and you don't want that. Next question. Um, how long does this last? Does it need to be refrigerated? Okay. As long as it is it closed, it should come with a shelf life of about between one and a half and two years. Yeah? For as long as it is closed. Once, once you open once it? Once you open it, I always recommend to use it up within maximum six to eight months. Yeah? Wow. So, so you still have enough time, but please don't oversize your packing. I sometimes had the issue that people with small nano tanks were buying, you know, the 1.5 liter bags because they thought, okay, I have phytoplankton for the next two years. 
Mm -hmm. Please don't do that, you know, adjust it according to, to your Dear aquarium. Yeah? For example, the 250 milliliter is something I would recommend for tanks, let's say, up to 100 gallons. Okay. So between 50 up to 100, you could use the, the 250 milliliter bag. And how much say. do you dose? Uh, you are dosing one milliliter per 35 gallons. Wow. This is the standard dosing. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are starting to use the product, you use 50% of the dosing. Okay. The and reason it... is because you want to set up the zooplankton population first. Yeah. By introducing the food, um, the zooplankton population uh, will grow. But this growing needs some time. Yeah. So the, for the first one, two weeks, I always recommend to start with half of the dosing yeah, and then go over to the standard dosing, which is one milliliter per 35 gallons. I often receive the question, OK, for my aquarium, how much do I need to dose? Because I have the feeling it's not enough or it's too much. The thing is, what you need to find out, the, the factor which is really somehow uh, 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 regulating the dosing is the surface area of your aquarium. It's not about the water volume so much, it's the surface area that you offer because the surface area is really where all the action happens. Yeah, this is where, where, where the phytoplankton is needed and all this stuff, not the open water. So a modern scape where you have lots of water, lots of space and just one pile here maybe or whatever, they would need less phytoplankton. Yeah? But if you then have the other reef scapes, like where you have lots of rocks in the bag, for example, they would need more phytoplankton because they offer more surface area. So, the, so you're, I, that makes sense, that makes sense. So you're technically, you're, because you're feeding the zooplankton, yes. the zooplankton is hiding, it lives in the rocks. Yes. The more everywhere. places, the more Caught crevices, around, the more everywhere. rocks around, the more yeah. zooplankton you'll have. Yes. The less rocks you have, you, the less zooplankton, so you don't need as much food. Exactly. And this is great for like mandarin fish. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you're, you're feeding the zooplankton, which turns around and feeds everything else, yes. just like in the ocean. Absolutely. So for all these type of feeders who are uh, who in their diet require a certain uh, amount of zooplankton, it's it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. perfect and you will see that also after a while when you observe the, the, the live rock, you will see how everything is crawling there and, and swimming around and stuff like that. Okay. You know, small rotifers, copper pots and stuff like that. Right. Good. Yeah. So where can, is this available right now? Can we buy this yes. right now? Yes. And where can we get it? Uh, you can get it in, in, in at your lo local livestock supplier. Local store, store? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> good, good. Do you know what the uh, price goes for? Um, I think we, we are talking about for the 250 milliliter, we are in the range of $25, okay. cent, something like that. But yeah. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. So, so, but it's, it's in that ballpark, I think. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. The, I mean, it, I learned a lot. <laughs> you know, I didn't know that it was phytoplankton. And the fact that your company has been doing it for four years, yeah. I'm, uh, not only for the aquarium hobby, but even before that, for yeah, long before. cosmetics and food con consumption. It's like you guys, you guys yeah. know what you're talking about. Absolutely. You know, phytoplankton is really, this is our core business. You know? That's this your, is where we are coming from. Yeah. And then, so we're, we're lucky to have you. Yeah. Thank you for being part of our, uh, our family here. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much. Okay. And we'll see you later. Okay. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Thanks a lot. <laughs> see you then.